Hello everyone, it's John Cope here from Cope Racing Transmission. In, uh, in this uh, technical video, it's going to be about our reverse manual valve bodies. Our 22X reverse manual valve bodies that we make in house. You can have some instructions on it, give you a little information about it, and to tell you um, a little bit more about the valve body. But before I get into that, I want to let you all you guys know that the, the catalogs are now done. Um, uh, these are the 2021 to 2022 catalogs. If you'd like to get a free catalog, uh, just email me at ColtRacingTrance at, AOL, at AOL.com. I'll leave that email in the, in the description below so you can see that. We're in uh, the market of buying um, inner sprag races and outer sprag cams. These are the Bolton Sprags for 727s. If you guys have any of these races or any of these cams in your garage just laying around and you want to make some cash, um, also email me. That will be in the description below. Uh, we pay about ten. We pay ten dollars a piece. So if you got a pair, it's twenty dollars, and I pay for the shipping as long as you're in the lower forty-eight. Okay, um, and and I'm doing this video from home because uh, right now it's we got about 10 inches of snow and I usually do all the videos from the shop but I decided I'll just do it here instead of trucking through all the snow so that's why the background you don't see the shop or anything I'm, I'm here at home okay the dash 22x valve body look at this bad dog huh I'll turn it slow so you can get a good look at that baby, huh? I make two versions of this that are basically exactly the same valve body. Um, I make a, 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 what I guess I would call a street version, which is um, 500 horsepower, 550 and under. And then a full race version of this valve body, which is could be 500 and above and the, the the only difference between the two valve bodies is my pressure settings um, the pressure on the street version we'll just call it the street version um, is usually about 150 uh, the race version I usually put them at 175 to 180 and it for extreme uh, higher horsepower I'll even bump that up to 200 there's really no reason to have 200 psi in the street unless you 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 have a thousand horsepower. So when you if you was to purchase these valve bodies online, you can pick which is the dash two or the dash 22, but they're they're both gonna have the same part number, which is gonna be right here, and they're all they're both gonna say the same part number on the invoice. But I um no actually on the invoice still have two different part numbers too. That will identify uh, the pressure settings. And uh, let me see how close I can get without getting blurry. I don't know. Anyways, the pressure setting is right here on the valve body. And with the green plate reverse manual valve body and the green spring, the pressure regulator spring, which is right in here, when that pressure setting is at flush on my valve bodies, um, flush is 150. And then it's about nine, eight to nine psi per turn inward, so about three or four turns, you know, get you your 180. So um, that's how you can tell. And uh, these these valve bodies, I started making this this core valve body. We use we've been starting using this core um, since mm, at least 2020, early 2020. And th these cores are a little bit different, as you notice. I got a a, a, a smaller billet plate on here that um, that we added to it and uh, clear a stock pan um, it, most people have deep pans but I'm just letting you know when you buy this um, if you have a, a stock pan that valve body is not going to, to fit however I do have other valve bodies from the earlier cores that will work with a, a stock pan and most of the guys with the stock pans are your rock your rock crawlers um, they all require stock pan here's um, barely clears the deep pan by by very little but it's enough where you can't get the pan on 
So um, if you have a deep pan, then there won't be no issues. But if you want a stock pan, then you have to um, get a hold of me and say, hey, John, I'm running a stock pan. Uh, and this is only because of these cores that, that we've been using since 2020 um, become easier for us to get. And the older cores from the valve bodies that are like, let's say, 66 to, um, to 89 are starting really hard to get. These, these are, are more later model cores that I made work for the 727 and 904 reverse manual valve bodies. So again, they do require that you have a deep pan. But if you want to run one without a deep pan, just get a hold of me and I'll make sure that I build one of the older cores, which I've been kind of saving just for the rock crawler guys. Um, as far as insulation on these now, the, the installation, you, I've been asked many times about just taking the valve body out of the box and installing it into the, into the transmission or into the vehicle. You, you can do that and the valve body will, will functionally work. It'll, it will work. However, uh, there's certain things that I like the customers to do to enhance how the valve body does work. Um, and when you purchase the valve body, you'll get these instructions, but I'll go over them with you real quick. Um, with the valve bodies having low van apply, um, I want you guys to use a low reverse billet servo. Um, it keeps those, the servo, the, the servo kit keeps the stock one from cocking in the bore. The, um, the pistons can crack under the high pressure and the spring that is included with the servo kit gives you a, a cleaner one, two shift. So if you was to use this valve body without the billet servo kit, you could, you could see not having a super clean one, two shift like you should. You might have issues of the stock piston cracking due to the high pressure or even on some 727s cocking in the bore. So I always like to run a billet servo and that's how I do them at the shop. Every single one gets a billet servo kit. Um, the second thing of the valve body is going to include a set of D-rings. They're just little rubber seals that go on the accumulator. You simply just take off your steel rings or the Teflon rings that are on the accumulator and um, put the D-rings on and then put your blocker rod in the accumulator and then lube it up and put, put the accumulator in the case. Um, front servo ratios or lever ratios I can say for the front servo on the street you can run um, a 3.8 lever or a 4.2 lever um, it's best to run the lower ratio the 3.8 on the street for 500 and under horsepower for 500 and over I like the 4.2 and if you have a 904 you can get away with running the 5.0 but I don't run 5.0 levers on the uh, 727s unless you have your front clutch pack clearance at like 110 or 120 thousandths. Normally I like to see it at 85 to 90 thousandths on the front clutch clearance with all 15 springs. So um, that's uh, more of an overlap issue and again if you just take these valve bodies, this particular valve body mine and put it in your car without doing anything it will work but if you um, come across some issues uh, of shift timing or band overlap and it's not because of the valve body it's because you didn't set up the transmission to the valve body. Uh, burnout procedures. Um, we all try to protect the sprag and I, I like to tell the guys when you're at the track in the burnout box you can start off in second and shift to third and come out of the burnout box. However if you're on the street we all got to start doing burnouts uh, in first gear. Um, just try to get it, once you get the tires going, get it out of first gear as quick as you can and, and go into uh, in the second and the third. Um, with anything performance, um, I really stress, even though these valve bodies do have the low band apply and that does protect the sprag, um, yeah, the, the best way to protect yourself is to run a billet drum. Uh, you'll see those on our website. Uh, you don't have to have one, but man, I, I really like using the billet drums. So it's just, it's good to have one. 
Um, what else can I tell you about this valve body? Um, my son does all the machining on our in-house on our CNC machine, and I assemble every one. Uh, I take all the all the screws on all the plates that you see here and here, and I set them out and have them uh, zinc coated yellow. I call them gold plate, but it's not gold. Uh, just to give the valve body a real nice, nice look. I know it's almost a shame not to have something so pretty. See it underneath the hood. You're going to put the oil pan on it, but that's it. So, um, again, real quick, sprag cores. We're buying them. 20 bucks for the sprag cores. The catalogs are in. If you are in the lower 48, or if you're in the United States, I will ship one to you for free. If you're elsewhere, I'll still give you a free catalog, but you got to cover the shipping. Every time you buy a part from us, you will get a catalog along with some stickers and a keychain and what other uh, all the Tootsie Rolls don't forget the Tootsie Rolls so I think I covered everything on the valve body uh, if you have any questions you can email me which will be in the link below and um, so will our website so thanks for watching and uh, I guess I'm gonna have to go out and snow blow some snow now because we got about about 10 inches out, 10 inches out there so thanks for watching mopar guys i'll check you later